if you hear this banging, that's that's Henio eat, eating his cage. Now that is my finished piece. Yeah. Since I showed you those little houses on my haul video, many many of you were saying I cannot wait to see a project with those. So today I'm gonna use actually one of the houses and I thought at first that I'm gonna be making just altering this little piece but no, I thought Marta, you can actually do a little scenery and make some grass maybe, maybe some something like like a fairy scenery and this is the most fairy house of them all I think shape wise because it's it's roundy so that's what I'm gonna do I will alter this house and create some lovely scenery well, I'm gonna start off by removing this because I really I really don't like that <laughs> because I don't think I'd be hanging this and the other thing I will be doing is I have to, not that I have to, I thought that I will do what I've done in my previous uh, video with the fairy house I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do um, the roof and I'm gonna use kind of like t tiles so I will be gluing down those little um, those little tiles uh, to make a roof actually so we will see how this will actually looks like this is just a cupboard cardboard cupboard <laughs> cardboard chipboard so I'm sure you can have you can find some cardboard in your house uh, plenty of those around isn't it now it doesn't have to be perfect I keep on saying to you so I'm not really measuring the little things because it's just however it's gonna be it will be fairy houses are cute and tiny and they are from from like from cartoons so they don't have to be necessarily uh, perfect now uh, I'm gonna use hot glue gun if my hot glue gun is hot enough but I don't know now before I do it I'm oh this is very big so let me see how could I actually do it maybe like uh, this and this I don't know I, as always I'm improvising here with you guys so maybe something like that uh, or opposite like this like this like this that will be cute for sure and like that something like that mm -hmm. but let me see if my hot glue is hot oh, it's hot enough okay so there we go I will be adding the glue something like that maybe mm -hmm. uh, that looks nice already <laughs> I think it will be cute and fun but um, I, I, I'm afraid it may take us some time to actually finish off the project because uh, because it will be biggish project now I can I guess glue this down even more oh. now uh, as always a warning for you guys regards the hot glue be very careful do not burn yourself and watch what you're doing when you're using hot glue now those are the bigger tiles so I need to cut them because those are the bigger one mm -hmm. and this one as well uh huh. So this is some leftover chipboards that I had from something else. So you can easily use that. Now, how did I do it? Oh yes, half. I'm trying to see. This was like kind of sticking out a little bit. Now uh, I'm using hot glue instead of gel medium. You can use gel medium, of course, uh, or um, what's that other um, what's that other glue oh I bought it and I never tried it let me show you what I mean where is it I uh, it here E6000 I bought it but I never tried it yet so I have to have it have a try before I have a say about it I guess now so I'm trying to kind of alter the house itself 
looking good so far. Um, fairy houses are super cute. I absolutely love them. Uh, recently more and more. I did never thought I am a fairy person. But I think I really, really, really enjoy making those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. So, a little house is altered a little bit. You could, of course, do uh, bits here, but oh, what about if I do exactly like this kind of way? Oops. Like this and like this. Will that be nice? Hmm, maybe, maybe. I'll see if I have enough of similar sh uh, similar size. It's this one. I think it's this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this one, I guess. Okay. So let's see if I can add this kind of here. Super. And next one as well. And the next one is oh quickly here. Hmm. <laughs> nice. And this one here. I like that. And it would be nice to do underneath one as well, I guess. If I'm able to fit and squeeze in there, that could be difficult, but I will try. Oh, it's okay. It's nice like that. I may cut it a little bit. Uh-huh. To make that smaller so it would fit underneath it there. Oh. Something along those lines looking great. Okay, now let's do the other one so we can use this one. <coughs> mm -hmm. We can use maybe this one as well. Oh no, a bit lower since in the lines and this one. Uh huh. <laughs> so you can you see alter your own way. That way it's unique and it's yours, isn't it? No. There we go. So the house is lovely, altered. Let's have a look. Forgot <laughs> one little bit here. One little tiny thing here. Will that match? Maybe this one will be better. I think I need to make that a little shorter. So this would stick in. There we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tiny beauty. How about just having a peek, just to trying to see if I'll do anything here to it, or is it good and lovely as it is? Uh oh, uh oh. I think it is lovely as it is, but I just want to have a have a look. You know what? It is nice to actually change this a little bit so I will I will just a little bit just a little bit no or like that no um, I'm just trying to see maybe I'll there we go yeah I have to make that more matching to the shape. Oh, there we go. That's better now. Mm -hmm. And this one maybe. Mm -hmm. There we go. Same on the other side, but I think I need 
I think I need to cut this one into smaller. Something like that. Or even more. Like this. Mm -hmm. There we go. And one more. Which is here. Now that's too big because I think I would like this to be kind of equal to the other one. At least a little bit. Like this. Awesome. And then we could use this and this together. Two of the same ones. Pretty much, I guess. Like that, and like that. Oh, I like that. Oops. I love that, actually. <laughs> Looking so cute, so different. Now, the idea is to glue it here, and then do some rocks from, from egg cardboard. You remember? We've done that video. It, there is a video on, on that subject. Oh, and the little babinka is awake, I think. So few, few bits and pieces to create, uh, to create like the, uh, oh, to create like a walking footpath or something like that. That is there. Something like that, so that we can have. I'm coming! Two seconds. I'm back to you. Before I'll do anything, uh, I'm gonna just gesso the whole page, the whole piece, uh, the whole tag, really, because I'm using a tag actually. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but. Yeah, it's a tag. And while this will be drying, I also will add uh, some stenciling right now. And I'm going to use the same heavy gesso to create some texture with stencil. I'm using stencil from Little Birdie. I like that stencil very much. Okay. So I'm trying to cover that so this will be like a kind of rock um, rock footpath something along those lines and while this is still while this is drying I'm gonna attach my house quickly as you can see somewhere there while this is wet so everything will be nicely put together and also now I will attach my egg car cardboards um, elements so to create a little footpath which will be super awesome now oh. no. there we go I like that Mm -hmm. I think I need a little more glue. I like to work when... There we go. Can you tell? Can you see? I hope you can. I love working when... I need more glue it's here. When my modeling paste is still wet, so that way I can... Um, oh, I think they're here. That way uh, it just stick kind of... Everything kind of sticks better differently I don't know I just like working like on the wet surface oops because this will just give me some unexpected effects as well when the texture moves and things like that so I'm really trying not to be too much of a precise here as you can see they are all in different shapes and sizes and I put them in all kinds of ways so that's our footpath uh huh. Something like that. 
and I like how a little um, a little bit of kind of stones I can see there in between I hope you can see that I think you can okay mm -hmm. okay something along those lines what you think and the ram I love that I really really love that so this is how it looks at the moment it's still wet I just want to clean clean my stencil quickly now the other thing I would love to add is those 3d balls I have all three sizes they are from Powertex uh, I'm not sure where you can get those but if you look for Powertex uh, there are three sizes of very light stones kind of like yeah, like little stones uh, so I'm gonna be adding those because I think they will just be absolutely super cute and absolutely perfect so I'm gonna be dipping my brush in gel medium here and there and I'm gonna be sticking those where my house is okay there we go I hope you can see that Mm-hmm. And I, it's funny because I bought those stones oh, a few months back. It's the first time I'm actually using it. Can you believe it? <clears throat> the first time ever. Okay. Mm-hmm. I hope you can see it well. Now, oh, Hannah is playing with her toy, and she's also <laughs> calling loud enough. <laughs> I also can touch some sto smaller stones like that, and just add it, add it to <clears throat> to the mix, and I think it would be just nice. So. Uh, of course you can use a uh, real stones if you have if you don't have those they're gonna be heavier but they'll be fine I have real stones at home as well <clears throat> I've used them before and they are awesome as well so that's how it looks I think it looks pretty pretty nice okay could be nice somewhere in between those kind of oops mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm quiet because I'm concentrating because it's nice it's it's a very DIY project for me, different as well, what I usually do, isn't it? But I had this in mind for a very long time, and my a previous video with uh, Fairy House, you really enjoyed it. So I was thinking, yeah, let's go back and do it again. You see, I have a wet brush, so that helps me to lift my stones without any damage to my fingers and dirt to my fingers. I'm pretty clean crafter I have to say when it comes to splashing, spraying and keeping my hands clean. If you didn't notice before, <laughs> I am. I somehow, I don't know, I, that's how I kind of operate. Now, I love that. I love that. I love that. I'm already excited and I, I can't share this video yet because I'm working ahead recording and when you're watching this, I am probably still on holidays or back on back from holidays. I don't know. I can't tell because I don't know where I'm gonna actually. Oh, look at that. When I'm when I'm gonna actually add those videos that I'm recording ahead. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I could be here and there. I don't know. <laughs> Fairy scenery. I would call it or something along those lines. I love that. Oh, I'm sorry. 
for praising myself and being like <gasps> an owl of it, but I am. It looks really nice. I believe that my fairies have no doors in their house and they're just flying in into that hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I that's how my fairies deal with things. Unfortunately, no door for them. Okay. I love that. Looks very real, very natural for me to me anyway. Oh. oh. And the baby. Oh. <laughs> She's laughing. Hannah is laughing away. Now since the modeling paste is still uh, wet, you can see that it's damaging a little bit of the shape of it, but I really really don't mind and I mean it because it's just more natural than like when after a while after a time um of course even the roads da get damaged and things so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I think I'm pretty uh, I'm done here. I love that. Uh definitely. Um, so what I will do at this moment, I'm going to leave this for drying or dry it, I don't know, and come back to you once I'm dry and happy uh, with the little house. Love it. Love it. Love, love, love it. <laughs> before the house will dry, before I'll dry everything, I just quickly give it a little wipe, a white wipe. I'm going to whiten my house. Uh, because uh, this will just, I just prime it, this will allow me to add all kinds of colors and mediums and sprays. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with the color wise yet. That's too early to judge, <laughs> too early to discuss. Uh, my uh, advice is maybe to prime, oops, your project before sticking it because now it's harder to, like here, harder to paint. But you know, again, I'm, I really am um, easygoing person and I'm not stressed over those things uh, because because I'm not. That's it. <laughs> you can always fix things and think for later about about a little better maybe thing to do. But that's you know that's for next time for your next project. So I'm just basically adding white and making sure that my house is nice and nice and painted so all the mediums can be applied easier. I think I'm gonna go for purples because I found this fairy from Graphic 45 that I think I may add so purples could look interesting. I think so. Okay, same for this. To, oops, to add a little bit of a white in there. Or you can wait for everything to dry first instead of like me going and touching everything, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm going to leave this to dry and I'm, I will come back to you in just a few moments for you. <laughs> My fairy house is dry. Uh, I still have some elements not painted, so I'm going to paint this now uh, with white gesso, especially where the where gel medium was. <laughs> this is quite funny. What a perfect timing for being awake from Hannah. <laughs> she, the second I turned on the camera, she just started to say things. <laughs> so perfect timing, Hannah, indeed. So I'm gonna just gently paint over those uh, elements here and there leave it to dry and then I'm gonna come back to you and we're gonna color our house with color, some some bit of color we will try to figure out what color we're gonna use as I said before maybe I'm gonna go for some purples I don't know yet but something along those lines I think would be nice I'll see the papers that I have and see uh, what color could coordinate nicely with it what would look nice. So I'm covering my stones especially because oops there was a gel medium and gel medium will resist your color so we don't want that. So we need this to make sure that it's painted and yeah it looks really cute really pretty. Again this will end up in Emily's room. I wonder what she says when she sees it. <laughs> because she haven't seen it yet but I think it would really be 
something she would truly enjoy. So, where's I, ha I one day I'm gonna show you her fair houses because they are pretty. Uh, her fair house that she built it's really really nice so okay that's how it looks and I'm gonna leave this to dry and I will come back to you <laughs> in just few few moments there we go let me show you uh, the papers that I have uh, there was a kit uh, that Pam have uh, created limited edition kit a few months back I've never had a chance to work with it I think it was around time when I had Hannah so I never used the kit uh, and it was all about fairies and you know all the papers uh, was fairy paper really really pretty uh, graphic 45 and also a bit of um, 49 and market I love them things definitely I'm gonna put this away because I will use it and this one as well I think uh, so yeah I I love the fairy that is here from this uh, paper set let me just show you paper page let me just show you my idea kind of ish something like if I cut her if I fussy cut her let me just grab that and she be standing somewhere like that I think it would look just so extremely pretty so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fussy cut that uh, if you are interested this is a very first collection of 49 and market it's called flower fairies um, Mary ba Barker is uh, she is the she is the founder she's the designer she drew all of the fairies herself so uh, i'm sure that the, you you are aware of this uh, special design all, all those gorgeous fairies are from mary barker and that's that's how the papers are made with her images um i'm not sure how it's how it's now but it used to be a problem and only be sold those paper in states but have a have a look in in um, in 49 and market have a look on their website if you wish I, I'm pretty sure that there's many shops that is already offering uh, offering uh, this brand so Janine is the owner she creates those papers and she's a lovely lady so you may give her a message as well and see how she uh, what she will respond and um, I'm sure you are able to find those papers so I'm gonna fussy cut this right now I wonder if I fussy cut this much more um, precise or less precise. I think I'm gonna go for very precise precision uh, this time so maybe yeah I'll see you in a minute <laughs> okay have a look at that this is kind of what I have in my mind and I I really like that I really like that even though the house looks too small for the fairy but I think they can just you know make themselves smaller and just jump in in those houses but anyway <laughs> I have also um, I have also uh, chipboards that could be used nicely for um, let me show you this one or this one maybe this one would be nice uh, oh, oh yeah I have it here two seconds two seconds and my hot glue gun is not plugged in I just plugged it out, so I'm gonna put it back now. My hot glue, okay. And I need something to cut it out from cardboard. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have a vision that this will look nice, but we have to wait and see, I guess, how this will be. Oh, excellent! <laughs> I love that. I love that. A little fairy um, fairy thing and also either she could be in front or she could be on the back. We shall see. We shall see. So this is nice and I could use that. Definitely. I also have those gorgeous little flowers that I found. Oh yeah. They here. Little flowers from a uh, little birdie. Absolutely loving them so I will use them as well let me bring the camera closer to you so you can have a pick so I think this will match nicely as well uh, I'm gonna grab some purple and we need to start coloring that 
Mm. It looks that I'm recording this in many, uh, with m lots of breaks. Um, so the house is dry. My elements are here. Look at those. Gorgeous flowers and a fairy and some mushrooms. I love that. And I also have some purple sprays. So I'm going to put aside those things and I'm going to just gently start spraying things and see how, uh, how this will be. Maybe I'm going to try the colors first somewhere <clears throat> somewhere here, uh, just to see. Oh, that's nice and delicate. Uh, pastel dirty pink, so I like that actually. And then pastel berry, let's see, this will be darker. Oh, very dark. And then we have some lavender, some purple, if this will work, because it's the end of the spray, so it may not work. <clears throat> that's okay. So let's, let's go for this one first, and I'm gonna just... Oh, which one did I do? This is the pastel berry, that's the dark one, but that's okay. I see that this is very similar to this one anyway. Yeah, they are very alike. So maybe something along those lines, but then I'm gonna maybe finish it off a little bit with some black. Uh, I have some other purple. I'll see how this will look. Oh, that's nice. Just a little bit to kind of break the colors. When it makes it's nice. I like that. Mm, super. Now, same for... <coughs> um, the other thing I thought to add was this green, which I think it's nice as well. So I may just add a little there as a grass kind of-ish idea. I'll see. I like that. I'm gonna dry this now and I'm gonna come back to you. Mm, so this is what we have now. I'm gonna be adding a little touches of the, this darker one. This is, oh, I'm gonna be all purple. I just want to add a little more color. I wonder if you can see it. It's, um, it's very difficult to work with um, with the 3D project like that because you can't see it properly because it's not flat. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the best I can do. We'll see. This would be nice. Have a little bit of contrast as well on the roof. And, yeah. Even if this dries nicely like that. Could be interesting to see. <laughs> I like that very much. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear the dog barking. <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. I also think to add a little bit of black. Make sure to open your black nut under your project, above your project, because the mica runs down here and yeah, it could destroy your piece, so watch out. I always like to add black because this kind of gives this extra definition to the project, so I like that indeed. <clears throat> Very interesting color scheme. I think this will nicely match to our fairy. Let me sh let me see and let me show you. So the fairy is there, and I think it would be nice. And we have some purple gr green flowers, which I again I think it will just look good. Not that easy to see it now, but I believe it will be nice. <laughs> I hope. I hope it will be nice. Uh, Projects like that I, are very joyful to do, but also very time-consuming. Um, like really, really time-consuming. Uh, I like that, but for many people who are impatient like me, uh, it could be difficult. I'm impatient, but for some reason the fairy projects I love, I love doing them. Maybe it's because of Emily that I know that she will have it probably in her room. Uh, maybe that's why, I don't know, maybe this is the reason. Okay. Uh, once this is dry, we can 
do a little bit of highlight with white gesso but of course we need this to dry properly before adding any color mm, I like that I really really like that interesting color no I'm, I'm gonna actually spray that directly a little bit maybe let me show you mm -hmm. where's my water water or my white spray if this will ever work actually or this one chalk white oh I love that I love adding white spray because it I don't know it helps to kind of blend in and helps to be a little more delicate and yeah I like that it's soften soften down a lot I think I need to dry this how is my house yeah I like that I need to dry this and I will be I will be back I'm gonna add a little a little more green oops that didn't I'm gonna add a little green there is mica and shimmer so that's why it's kind of and I didn't use it for some time so probably that's why it's Nash really um mm. That's why we have those lines in the bottle, those pigmentish lines. So I'm just trying to add a little more pigment because it's not that green. And it can't, it could be more green, I guess. I don't want to spray directly. I'm afraid that this will go over the other colors and I really don't, don't want that to happen. I don't want to have a mock because purple, really, and green and combination together, they, they, they wouldn't be the most pretty colors. So, you know... Uh, I, as you can tell here so I just want to make sure we're not gonna have a colorful mock mock here but just a little bit of more green would be nice mm -hmm. here and there here and there and let's try this as well <laughs> look at this upstairs I think <laughs> something fell <laughs> two heat guns and our house is dry and uh, make sure your house your projects are dry before applying white gesso because otherwise your pigment will it will always go out go a little a little bit you will always have a little bit of problems with color because usually sprays are water-based so of course that means that means that you will have I just want to have my whole brush in just so you're gonna have troubles when it comes to uh, you will have some pigment on your brush but that's okay you know but always try to make sure that your your um, pigment uh, your um, your project is dry and your brush is dry so that's why we can do a bit of dry just so looking good already I hope you can see so that's what I'm doing trying to trying to add highlight to my to my <laughs> floor and the house and all so mm -hmm. and also on on the roof here and there and I think it really looks nice really really does look nice if you have some brush strokes, I really don't mind them because because I don't. <laughs> it's like when you have a, a painted house and sometimes some parts of paint are falling, some parts are staying for longer. So that's kind of how I see it. <laughs> okay. And I'm also highlighting the floor, the green area as well, a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Looking good. I like that. I hope you can see it properly. I hope you can see it well. I love I love that. Okay, I think I'm I'm gonna finish it that 
when it comes to coloring. I like that. I, I, I'm happy how it looks already. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit of highlight. Just a little more. But not too much, not too much. <laughs> yeah. Super. Okay. Now, time to add our finishing touches really of our for our project. So, I'm going to hide my gesso. saw. Uh, this is our uh tag with a fairy house. I love that. Now, the other thing is maybe I'm going to dry this quickly, the just few elements that I hope to use uh, as our finishing touches are those things here that I have. Oh, my table got lifted a little bit because of the heat. <laughs> now I have those low rose charms from Santoro from Duva Craft, Do Crafts, I think, uh, as well. Is it? Uh, can't tell, can't tell. But anyway, I need to be quiet because baby is asleep. So, and Babies always wakes up for them noises of, of foil. So I'm looking at it. <laughs> That's all so out. That's probably the easiest and the fastest. And I'm thinking, oh, what a nice feeling of those. Wow. I thought, but maybe I'm wrong, that this could match here. Mm, no. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see first. Where will I put our? Where will I put our lovely? Oh, if I put it there, I will hide all the beautiful stones, which I don't want to do. Maybe here on the back, something along those lines. Mhm. Mm and the fairy could be still here. I wonder, should I cut the fairy? Yeah, I. Do you know what? I'm gonna just cut it even more, because I think the the uh, um, what we have here, lovely with the. No. I'm gonna cut it more. What we have at the moment with uh, on the floor of the on the floor of the of the whole piece. I don't want to hide it, I don't want to cover it up too much because then it's no point of doing it. So I'm gonna, ch I'm changing my mind and I will get rid of that and just have my beautiful fairy added. Yeah, that's so much better now and so much more delicate and all. I like that. I like that. Okay. Now I'm thinking to uh, maybe add this. Uh, purple, delicate purple. Um, so I will just gently spray that and a bit of white with it. White or cream or... Uh, come on, work! <laughs> it doesn't work. Sometimes they just dry out because I don't use them all the time. No, not all of them. Ah, uh, no. Use your sprays because they're not gonna work. <laughs> Let's see this one. Some of them are very old, I have to say, but still, uh, I wish them to work. So basically, I'm trying to have this nice and purple, but maybe not too much. So something like that. Delicate. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, let's try this now. My, uh, uh, what's that word in English? Gate. My gate is dry, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of white gesso just to highlight, just to bring this to life more and just ha have a nice highlight. And yeah, I think that's nice. That is so, 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 so nice. So back to the water and I need to glue it down somehow. I'm just thinking how <laughs> how on earth I'm gonna do it but I think I'm gonna glue it down next to my house so it's gonna be fine. So hot glue gun a lot of it and I'm gonna take some as well here 
and hope for the best. Uh, okay, that looks great, but uh, it doesn't stick as I wanted. Oh yeah, I need I need to add more glue because oops, because it's not in that position the glue. Okay, that's perfect now. This will hold. Okay, super. Now, what else we have? We have this gorgeous, oh, maybe those little flowers as well. I really would like to use them and add them. And, no, oh, they are so very cute. So in a few spots, I guess, we will add it. Mm-hmm. Uh, those flowers are from Little Birdie, I have to say, and I kept saying, telling you, the, saying that to you that I absolutely adore and love Little Birdie's flowers. Okay, what else? Maybe this one, somewhere. Maybe something like that. What a hard position to position your project so everyone can see it and I can see it and you can see it. <laughs> I hope it's enough uh, clean and clear for you to actually see it and enjoy it. I'm not too sure where will I put it. Maybe somewhere there as well. Mm -hmm. Or maybe one more. <coughs> Irregular number. I like. <coughs> oh, sorry. Something is keep on falling and I'm burning my finger, but not too much. Oh, that's nice. No. <laughs> that's so cute. What for? Oh, dominoes. Dominoes. I have dominoes ready for another project. For little tiny art pieces, I hope to make. <laughs> but that's for another time. Not now. What else we can add? We can add our gorgeous fairy somewhere. How I'm gonna actually attach her? Because oh, that would be probably the easiest. I wanted her to here. Oh, or maybe I just no. Maybe I just attach her like there, and she'd be absolutely fine. Do you know what? I will gently attach her with a touch of glue just to see how it looks. Just to see. Oops. <laughs> Just to see how she looks on that. She does look fine. I like it. But I need to move her a little bit because I would like her I would like to see her foot feet. Oh that's too too high. Too high with my glue. So I need to do it a little bit lower, I think. There we go. Okay, so she's attached. Like that? No. Like that. That is perfect. Okay. We have some lovely jovely. Ah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and we have some more mushrooms. I, I'm not too sure how where to put it. Or maybe. <laughs> or. No. This was nice actually there, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Oh, how about here? Actually, absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's just glue it down. If we can, try. Not uh, <laughs> it did glue, but no, it's fine. Okay, I have to add a little more glue there, probably <clears throat> on the back, like that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Oh, then you can add a little more glue down there on the back, so to make sure it's nice and sticked. <laughs> that is so cute. And of course, a little bit of glue on the back of our other mushroom. And let's put him somewhere there. Super cute. Ah, that is so, so pretty. 
so nice. <laughs> I cannot believe I did a fairy tale, fairy house scene. Let me just take that out, take the fairy. Can I undo her? No. I was just wondering, will she be better off in the middle? But no, it would be hard to stick her anywhere actually, so it's fine as it is. How about adding flower now? Nah, no, that's too much and it just doesn't do the job at all. No, that is perfect as it is. I was thinking, I was thinking as a finishing touches we could add like a little bit of uh, transparent, those are translucent uh, Nouveau drops. So I was thinking that this could look just nice as touches when it's, when it's gonna dry, touches of like water on our project or something along those lines. What do you think? As if the little house is wet. Oh, that is nice. That will be nice indeed. Same for a little bit of... Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. I hope you can see it because of course I'm off camera <laughs> just the touches that things are wet maybe when this will dry it will look much better but that's what we have right now and I think I can call it finished and I can call it done I absolutely enjoyed doing this uh, challenging I have to say a little bit challenging because it's a different type of project uh, I promise to show you fairy houses of Emily if she allows me because it's her room she built it so oh I know one more thing two seconds two seconds mm, I just uh, remembered something I have this kind of a fake grass looking like a moss uh, I think I will attach this but I'm just thinking I can use actually Nuvo transparent Nuvo drops to, att to attach it maybe maybe this would be nice let me see where is the oh yeah that is so awesome now <laughs> I love that now when you will ask me where did I buy it I bought it oh that could be at least what three f even more four years ago if not more in Poland with my dad actually my dad bought it somewhere in uh, somewhere so I oh I, f I know what I forgot one oh I love that guys now in between those rocks this looks just amazing amazing so you see sometimes one thing is leading you to another one liquid drop liquid uh, drops were leading me to use them for this now maybe I wouldn't remember actually Emily have used that in her one so that's why where the idea came she used them things in her own and I looked at it today actually while I was passing uh, so no, so that's why it kind of reminded me so I'm this is Emily's idea let's let's be honest here it's her idea it's on her little house there so I hope she doesn't mind me to do a little bit of her idea on on my on my little house. Absolutely loving that miniature house. Miniature house, super cute. Ah, come on. That looks so nice, so so pretty and so different. And also I'm just thinking that maybe I should add a little bit on the roof yeah it does look nice now instead of rain we have a tiny moss on on the roof and that does look absolutely sensational this all, all already dried so I have to add it pretty quickly if I would like to add that. Hmm. I think we could add some there as well. I I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this one. I really, really cannot wait. A little bit where the mushroom is, I, I believe. 
it would be nice. I'm not even sure how it, this is called when I purchase it. Fake moss? <laughs> moss? Moss? I'm not even sure if moss is the right word for it. But it is what it is. I'm only guessing and I think this is a perfect, absolutely perfect finish touch for it. Oh wow. I can't stop staring at it now actually because it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I was missing. Something something was missing and this is it. I think this is it. Super. <laughs> okay, no, that is done. I can call this done and dusted and pretty and cute. And thank you so much for your patience to be with me because I'm guessing this video will be very long. Um, but yeah, but you usually don't mind, so I don't mind either. I hope this was fun, inspirational, and I hope you will try your hand on a tiny, uh, tiny art like this, a miniature house, miniature uh, fairy scenery, I would say. Um, I love that. I really, really love that. Cannot wait to hear what you think. I'm going to finish and say uh, goodbye to you. Thank you so much. Uh, happy crafting. Wishing you uh, all the very best, and I'll t talk to you and chat to you soon. Bye. We have four more houses to finish and I have to think for other options how to finish them. So till the next time. Bye. I love you loads. Bye bye. Uh, I'm back actually with one more thing I wanted to check because I had a plan to add those uh, flowers and I just wonder will I still add them to my house because that was my original idea, my first idea. Oh, that is so cute, but I'm not convinced, so let me see, what about something smaller, there we go, I have it, I'm gonna add just this one, super, now that's my missing puzzle, That this, that is my missing puzzle. If you hear this banging, that's that's Henio eat, eating his cage. Now that is my finished piece. Yeah. Bye.